Today we're going to learn all about the letter L. L. Can you make an L? So we're going to put our hand up and we're going to put three fingers down, leaving just our thumb and our pointing finger to make a letter L. 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 There are lots of different words that begin with the letter L. Can you think of any words that begin with the letter L? Wow, good job! Those are some great ideas. Well, lake begins with the letter L, and l lion, l lizard, l lemon, L leaf begins with the letter L and ladybug begins with the letter L. I know, let's pretend to be a lion. Can you pretend to be a lion? Let's try it together. Roar! Roar! <laughs> Good job! All right, let's get warmed up for making art. Are you ready to warm up? If you are, give me a thumbs up. All right, let's get started. Hands up high, touch the sky, wave them around, up so high. Hands down low, touch your toes, wiggle and giggle, see how it goes to the side. Now let's clap. Clap and smile in a snap. Hands up front, then back in. Ready to learn. Let's begin. Let's count the ladybug's legs. How many legs does our ladybug have? Let's count together. Get our pointing finger up and we're going to point at each leg as we count. Ready? One, two, three, four legs, five legs. What comes after five? Six legs. Six legs on our ladybug. Let's look at the different parts of our ladybug. A ladybug has an antenna or antennae. They have a thorax, a head, an abdomen, and what we just counted, ladybugs have legs. And we have legs too. Maybe you can give your legs a little wiggle. Try shaking your legs. <laughs> Good job. You did awesome. Another L word is lion. Lion begins with the letter L. And lions, they actually live in a place called Africa, which is a continent. And they live or come from the Sahara Desert all the way down to the southern region. Uh, and they tend to live in places called open plains or dry thorn forests. Aren't lions really cool? I'd love to travel to Africa and explore some of the regions that have lions one day. Wouldn't you? All right, let's head on over to the art studio so that way we can draw a ladybug and then make a lion artwork. All right, we're going to draw a ladybug. Let's begin by writing the letter L. We're going to begin with a uppercase letter L, so one line down, and a line across at the bottom, and then a lowercase letter L is just one line down. And we'll spell ladybug. L A D Y G. Lady. 
ladybug. Ladybug bug begins with the letter L. L ladybug. Let's draw a ladybug. Let's begin with a circle. At the top, we're going to draw a dot on either side. And then we're going to connect the two dots with a curving line on each side of the head we're going to draw an eye and then we'll color in the eye leaving a little bit of white we'll draw the antennae Next, we're going to draw one line down the back. Let's draw spots by adding circles on our ladybug. And whatever we do on one side, we do the same on the other. So mine are the same on each half. Let's add some legs. on our ladybug. Let's color in ladybug. Ladybugs are red and their spots are white, so I'm going to color in the body red. black and the legs black as well. Bugs done and we're ready to go make our lion art. All right, we're going to be making a lion artwork. So we're going to grab our wax crayons. You can draw with either a blue, a black, or a brown. A blue, a black, or a brown. Blue, black, or brown crayon. I'm going to draw with my black. Let's begin with a straight line at the top. On each side, a small diagonal line. <clears throat> and along 
a line down on each side to make lion's ears. We're going to draw a big sweeping U shape from one side down to the other. So we're gonna do a practice line first. You can see my nice light line. We're gonna do a practice line. We're gonna go down. Just practice lines are nice and light. And then up. So then once you like that, we're gonna go over it. Nice and dark. We're going to draw a triangle in each ear. Above, we're going to draw the lion's mane all the way around the lion's head. Lion's mane all the way around lion's head. So we're gonna do bunny line hops up and over, just like that. In the center, we're going to draw a line across. Two lines down to make the nose. We're going to draw a dot on either side of the nose. And we're going to take our crayon, we're gonna turn that dot, and we'll go up, around, and connect to make a circle on one side. Up, around, connect on the other. In the eyes, we're gonna draw another smaller circle. color in the eyes. Leaving those little circles white. Then below the nose we're going to draw the mouth with one line out and another to make lion's mouth. Let's draw pink in the ears and the nose. And once you're done, you're ready to paint. So we're gonna We're gonna, we're gonna dip our brush in water. And then we're going to dip our brush in yellow. And we're gonna 
paint her face yellow with our paint and I'm just using tempera paint just some tempera paint but you can use any paint you have Carefully, carefully painting. Now we'll take her brow and we'll paint our lines main brown. Painting around. And just like that, your lovely lion is done and you can let it dry. And you can either leave it like this, or if you want to tidy it up, you can cut it out or get an adult to help you cut it out. And then you're ready to display. Yay! Good job! You did great. today. I am so glad that you joined me. You made my heart full. I hope to see you in our next learning adventure together. Parents and teachers, for more art ideas for kids, visit artastickids.com 
or for teachers, you can go and find art lesson plans at the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store by searching Ms. Artastic on TPT. Links below and in the description of the video. See you next time!